So now that I'm in this sheet, we can start making our um, Excel VBA events. So the first one that we're going to work with is the activate. So to create our activate event handler, we'll type in private sub worksheet underscore activate. Okay, so now we've created an event handler for the worksheet activate event. So anytime you activate this sheet, it's going to run the code that's inside of this sub this sub here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to message box. And we're going to say sheet activated. And we're going to use an and sign, an ampersand. And we are going to say active sheet dot name. So what's going to happen is um, it's just going to message box that we activated the sheet with the sheet name. So if we come in here, we're currently on sheet one. So now we're on sheet two here. And when we click on sheet one, it says message box sheet activated sheet one. And again, when we switch over to sheet two, it's not doing anything because our code is only in sheet one. Okay, so that's how we do worksheet activate now there's kind of a sister function to this and we're gonna just copy and paste and instead of activate it is deactivate and we will say deactivated and our active sheet name so here we are we're on sheet one and when I activate a different sheet I'm deactivating this sheet let's see what happens sheet deactivated sheet two though okay so what you're gonna see is that it said sheet two because when that sheet when that function deactivate was handled when that event was handled we had already changed active sheets so why did that happen well if you think about it the deactivate event handler happens when it was deactivated and the only way to deactivate a sheet in Excel is to activate another and to see that let's copy this and we'll go into the um, sheet two VBA module and now that we have this it will also run on sheet 2 activate so we get back over to sheet 1 okay so what we're gonna see here is the order that the events fire sheet deactivated and then the sheet activates so the handlers the deactivate is handled before the activate but the new sheet has to be the active sheet changes before either of them fire. So that's just something that you really want to be aware of when it comes to handling your events. So if we come back in here and we go back to sheet one.